Hey guys, Zen up here. Today we're checking out this roadside emergency tool and auto kit from AMZ Deal off of Amazon. It says here that the list price on this is $199 and after saving $150-ish you pay $45.99 for it. So we're going to see if this thing is worth $45.99. First off, we have the bag, which has been in the Explorer for a few couple weeks now, probably. And you can see that it is dirty. But this thing's pretty sturdy. It's got a couple handles here. And it has a shoulder pouch. It is red with emergency kit on it and has a little reflective tape. So I guess you can leave it on the side of the road and be seen by other cars. Let's open it up. See what's inside. Here, we'll just pull everything out one by one. First thing I grabbed is this little 12 piece tool set. This kind of looks like something you get off of like at Home Depot in like the five ten dollar section <laughs> for the gifts. This is basically my Leatherman with a little tester for electrical. Let's see what else we get. Wire blanket. This looks kind of cool. Oh wow, this is actually pretty, it's pretty thick but it's heavy. And I guess you're just supposed to take this and just throw it out. Let's open this thing up. Oh wow, that opens up pretty big. That's pretty cool. So if you have like an engine fire or something like that, I guess you just take this and throw it over top. This is like an actual fire blanket. That's pretty tough. Huh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see first aid kit. This is going to be just band-aids and stuff. We got a triangular bandage for making a sling. Here we have some tape. Uh, some bandage. A couple wipes. Uh, let's see, iodine wipes. Well, that's different than some of these usually have. There we go, alcohol pads. That's what I'm used to seeing. Got some sterile gauze packages. And scissors. More band-aids. Little how-to. Basically instructions. And tweezers. Little plastic tweezers. That don't really connect. And some safety pins. I like this package though. I could make this into my own little kit for this bag. That's pretty sturdy too. Zipper works pretty good. So a couple of these things I could use. I would add more to this though. Kind of like that one. And I really like this thing. That's kind of cool. I don't think I have that in any of my other kits. Next we have a little safety vest kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. One size fits all, just throw it over your head. Little Velcro straps here. Pretty cheesy and light, but I guess you're just needing it for a quick emergency. You don't need it to be super heavy duty, so I like that it's kind of light. Here we have a pocket coat. What is this, like a poncho? A little plastic. Oh wow, that is super thin. Oh, look at that, you can even see through it. That is super thin. Oh, it's got a little button, so cute. Yeah, I'm not opening that up. So a little plastic poncho kind of a thing. Um, I don't know, I mean, it would work. It would keep the wetness off of you. It's just not, I don't think it's too durable though. Next, we have something that really caught my eye on this. It's a tow rope. I've never seen a tow rope in one of these little car kits before. 
this seems pretty cool and seems pretty strong too. Let's look at these. Got these big metal clips on it. This is pretty sturdy. We might have to play with this. Next we have uh, two meters of jumper cables and this is pretty thick. This is like four gauge I think. That's pretty thick and these are really sturdy too. This is actually a pretty good, I think this is pretty good quality jumper cables. It may not be long enough though. About two meters is about like six feet. That feels like, if you can get it close enough, that feels like it's a pretty good sturdy quality there. I like that a lot. Next we have this little light thing. Oh, that was kind of cool. Bonk. It's got a glass breaker on it. It's got a seat belt cutter. Uh, what is this? Alarm, light, beacon, flashlight. Sticking on car top when wearing. Oh, it's got a magnetic base. You can bonk it onto the top of your car and it'll. Let's see. Uh, does it come with batteries? No batteries. Ripped. Alright, let's see what this thing takes. Okay, let's put this thing together. Okay, impress me. Light. I mean, for what it is, that's not really too bad at all. And let's see here. Turn that off. Let's do beacon. Oh, that's awesome. Especially with a little magnet on top of your car. Come on. Okay, let's see what else we got. Alarm. Um, I kind of like this, but these two things right here. Um, those are kind of things that you want to have when you need to have them. I mean, I've never had a use for them yet. Never landed in the water or had my seatbelt get stuck on me where I had to cut it. And I always have like a knife or something with me. But this isn't something you want buried away in the trunk of your car, I would think. But still, this thing's awesome. I love that. I love that it's got the magnetic base on it. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I love that. That's kind of cool too. But... <laughs> I'm gonna play with this. All right, let's see what else we got. Yeah, okay, we have a little multi-tool. Oh, it's got a little light on it too. Okay. And yeah, we got a little knife here. Wow, that's almost flat. That's kind of dull. Maybe I'll sharpen it up. Maybe not. And that is what we have here. A little keychain. Meh. I guess it's better than nothing if you need it, right? Has a little holder. What else we got? Can't read anything else on this package. We're going to call that electrical tape then. And here we have, what is this? Oh, a whistle. Oh, one last thing. <sighs> Gloves. This would be good for like being able to take a cap off or pull on something. So let's go play with some of this stuff outside and uh, see how well it works. It is dark outside and we are out at the Explorer with the little flashlight thing. So let's see A, how well it works as a magnet. That's pretty strong. And let's get some visual. Put it right there on top. And see what it looks like from way back over here. Down at the end of the driveway and it's pretty dark. I can barely see the Explorer, but I do see that little light sitting on top of it. Let's turn the beacon on. I'm out at the edge of the property because I wanted to see if I could notice that beacon from such a far distance away. And sure enough, there it is. So if you're on the side of the road and you have that on top of your car, somebody's coming by, they're going to kind of have to see you. That's pretty cool. 
Here is the toe strap that came with the emergency kit and you can see it is out. I thought I was going to have to hook it up to the front of the Miata or the back and tow either one of these vehicles. But on my way home this morning, there was a guy pushing a, uh, I want to say it was a Polaris. It was like a two or four passenger ATV and he was pushing it up a road. And I stopped to see if I could help him push it, you know, the rest of the way. He was like, no, no, I don't need anything like that. And then I remembered that I had this emergency kit in the Explorer. And I said, hey, I'm doing a review of this emergency kit and it's got a tow rope on it. And it would be a great help to me if you would let me pull it. And he said, well, yeah, let's totally test it. So we hooked this thing up and flawlessly pulled that thing up. Now, granted, it was a Polaris. Nobody in it, not that much weight, but it held up, it worked when I needed it to work, emergency. So I was able to help out a neighbor uh, with this emergency kit. That was awesome. Uh, the jumper cables, I haven't really tested them yet, but they're jumper cables. So as long as it's within six feet from the battery in one vehicle, the battery in another, then it's gonna work. I mean, that's pretty thick gauge. And the gloves, I tried them out, they were cool. Um, most everything else didn't really need to be tried out. Uh, it was either a good quality or not. Uh, I am gonna repack this with some better, like a better first aid kit though. Or at least more in it. And maybe put a couple road flares in here. Like all the stuff that I have in my car kits right now, I'm gonna fill this up because that's a lot of empty space. But it was useful when I needed it. And that is really what you want your emergency kit to be. I thought that was very cool that this did such a good job when I wanted it to. Well, that's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website. And we'll see you guys on the next one.